The 14th historic landmark of ASABE was designated in 1980 in recognition of the Nebraska tractor test. Soon after the start of the 20th century, well over 100 manufacturers were advertising tractors for sale. Farmers considering replacing their horses wanted to learn how to select a tractor. Agricultural engineers became involved and from 1908 through 1913, Winnipeg Exhibitions organized comprehensive prony brake and plowing tests. ASAE members Leon W. Chase from Nebraska and J. Brownlee Davidson from Iowa were among the members of the judging team. In 1913, 1914, and 1917, the National Power Farming Demonstrations were held near Fremont, Nebraska. They tested belt and drawbar horsepower and fuel, water, and oil consumption for 90 tractors. The results were published in the Agricultural Engineering Journal in 1917 without identifying the manufacturer. Nebraska farmer and state representative Wilmot Crozier purchased a Ford tractor, not built by Henry Ford, and found it very unsatisfactory. He purchased two more tractors before he was satisfied. He felt that farmers needed to have accurate information independent of the often inflated claims. He sponsored a bill in 1919 titled the Nebraska Tractor Test Law and Rules for Official Tractor Tests. The law required that advertised performance claims be verified by three University of Nebraska engineers before sale in Nebraska. It was a very simple law and applied only to Nebraska, but its impact has been worldwide. In fact, a laboratory housing an electric dynamometer to measure belt horsepower was built. At the lab, drawbar comparisons were first determined by plowing capacity. Variable soil conditions made these tests very questionable. Chase developed a test track by mixing cinders with soil. The first test vehicle was built using an electric dynamometer. The second unit was a tractor chassis pulled backwards driving the engine against compression. The third test car was an enclosed cab housing the test instrumentation that towed single or multiple load units. This cab, updated over the years, was used for more than 60 years. Following World War II, several nations set up their own testing facilities. This often required manufacturers to test tractors in two or more countries. Under the Organization for Cooperative Development Rules, a standard test procedure based on the Nebraska test was established. Today, test results from any OECD laboratory are accepted by other members. The Nebraska Tractor Test Laboratory Building was recognized by ASAE as an historic site in 1980. That year, the tractor testing operations were moved to a new, larger facility. The vacated laboratory now houses the Lester F. Larson Tractor Test and Power Museum. Over the years, the Nebraska Tractor Testing Laboratory has introduced a number of additional tests, such as sound level, rollover protection and hydraulic lift capacity. The laboratory remains active and to date 1,882 tractors have successfully passed the test.